Well, welcome to Speaking of Horses. I'm your host, Wayne Williams, and we're ready to go right here with some of the great stories from the horse industry. So join us as we get ready to go Speaking of Horses right here on this station. Well, welcome to Speaking of Horses, and today here on the radio show, my guest is Shannon Trofnagel. Now, Shannon uh, is the founder of a group called Horse Trails and Camping Across America, or HTCAA. So, uh, first of all, welcome, uh, Shannon, and tell us a little bit about the history of how you formed this group. Sure, absolutely, Wayne. Well, thanks for having me on the show. And, uh, well, the story's a little bit crazy. I, to be honest, was bored at work one day, and I thought, you know, I want to find new places to ride, and I really wanted to uh, see more photos from, you know, places that people have ridden and where they camp. So I thought, well, what the heck, I'll create a new group on Facebook and see how it goes. And within a couple of weeks, um, I was overwhelmed because it was growing so fast. Uh, so I ended up bringing on quite a few people that could help me run it full time. And um, here we are going on, oh, let's see here. I created it in 2012 um, in August. So all these years later, we're now the number one largest trail riding community in the country. We're the number one um internet uh, trail riding resource on the internet for trail riding and uh, none of that was in my plans when I decided to create that group so it's been quite the adventure and uh, but pretty fun along the way I love I love where it's taken my life and, and all of that and to see how it's affected so many people across the country so it's been quite the ride so far well you know to me what makes it um, really appealing and and uh, with my speaking of horses I've you know, been around different trail ride groups on Facebook and the like and, and joined them and, and participated. But yours seems to be more open uh, and more into everything that's going on and not, some of them uh, are fairly closed as far as what they'll uh-huh. permit, what they'll do. And it's yeah. like, this is our own little world and, and HTCAA seems to be wide open to all trail riders and everything they want to do. Yeah, we always say if it has anything to do with trail riding, it's allowed. Um, and that really was, because that was part of the reason Sue Lane for me is, you know, I, I was part of different groups here and there, and, you know, some were part of a different state or a different area, or it was a trail committee, or very um, dispersed. So it's very neat to see how we've brought, like you said, just any kind of trail rider. You know, we've got some people that can only get out on the trails maybe once a year, and then we have people that are out on the trails 24 7. and any age group, you know, from the ages of 20 on up, and um, so it is. I really do like the diverse community, but yet we all get along, so I <laughs> think that makes it all the better. <laughs> well, you all have one thing in common, and that is the, uh, you know, the love of the horse or the love of trail riding, and, and I don't care if you go out camping with your horse, and, you know, my wife and I used to say, man, we're going to, if we don't ride six or seven hours a day, you know, what the heck? And now, now we ride a lot less than that when we ride. And uh, yeah. but the thing is, you know, if you go out with your horses and if you only ride an hour or two, uh, yeah. you still you still have the fun of trail riding. You still enjoy your horse. And sometimes you can sit yeah. around the picnic table after you've ridden only two three hours and and still yeah. have just as much fun. So you know, you you find yeah. out that everybody's you know got their own level, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't. It really doesn't. And that's, I think that's the neat thing about the trail riding community. You know, I grew up showing horses and, and was in a few different circuits that way. And, you know, it's always about the competition and who does what differently. And, um, you know, you just run into that whole different mentality in the show world. But in the trail riding world, it's all about just enjoying the trails. And like you said, whether it's for two hours or it's for 10, um, we all share that experience. And that's what drives us all to do what we do to get out on those trails when we can. And so it's, it's a neat camaraderie that I think is unique to the trail riders um, compared to any other uh, horse hobby out there. So I do enjoy that greatly. And that actually was a big surprise to me um, because before I started this group, you know, my husband and I didn't have all these connections all over. I didn't have trail riding friends in just about every state. And, uh, it was just really neat as it grew and grew to see how wonderful the trail riders are out there. They're just a neat 
unique group, and I love it. I just love it. <laughs> well, you know, we've always said when we roll into a, a horse camp, wherever we're at in the country, and set up camp for a few days, and you're in a horse riding camp, um, you've kind of like got a big extended family around there. You don't have to worry about anything. If somebody's horse uh -huh. in trouble, is in trouble on a picket line or whatever, there's always somebody yeah. there to help. I mean, you're all kind of in it together, having a good time, and you don't have to worry about um, about bad things that might happen, really. Yeah, yep, it's true. It is. And again, trail riders are just neat in that way. Um, and I think that's, again, too, why we all enjoy going out on the trails. You know, we enjoy being back at camp and getting to meet new people and, you know, like you said, sitting around the picnic table or the campfire. Um, but the neat thing is, too, I mean, this is what I love about HUV is we have different people on that aspect, too. Some people only like to go out with, you know, a couple close friends, and that's all they want. They want to be out in the mountains in the middle of nowhere and not have a soul around. And then we have other people that, you know, they camp with 40 or 50 people around their campfire every weekend. <laughs> so, again, it's neat that we can all share that, you know, love that we have, but we all do it in different ways. So, well, it's, again... You know, that's a neat thing. Yeah, you know, we used to have a group that we rode with quite a bit. Maybe six, eight, ten people would go, and wherever we would go for a week-long ride. We always had a rule. We're there together. We kind of camped in an area together. But you know, other than that, you know, okay, as a group, let's head out at 9 o'clock in the morning or whatever. Well, if you didn't want to do that that day, no problem. We never had any... You know, the rule was no animosity. If you want to go do something on your own, you don't want to ride today, no problem. You know, yep, so absolutely. there was never yeah. there was never any of this pressure like, well, the rest of the group's doing it. You know, it was yep, always absolutely. like, if you don't want to do it today, don't worry about it. We'll see you when we get yep. back, you know. And uh, yep. so it, we had that kind of a thing going in and we just never had any problems, you know. Well, and really, that's what we aim for at all of our HTCA gatherings when we have our events um, across the country, which each year we keep adding more and more as I have time to do it. But um, that's a big thing. You know, I have a lot of people, well, are you going to have, you know, the organized rides at certain times and different things? And, and really, I said, I didn't, I didn't want anybody to feel pressured to have to um, be on a clock or be on a schedule because so many people, and I'll be honest, my husband and I, we don't enjoy organized rides. <laughs> when, when we would go out, you know, we would go out at our own pace, and a lot of times, you know, we like to be kind of off in the quiet, and we're pretty slow on the trail, and um, so when I organized this, it was like, well, if you want to find a group to ride with at a certain time, get out and mingle the night before and find out who that is, and, and get out on the trail the next day, and if you like to ride solo, just go ride solo, and that's really worked out quite well. Um, you know, gosh, we've had five years now of going into these events, and um, and that's how I want to keep HCCA, because we have such a diverse group. Um, we don't want to box anybody into feeling like, you know, if you don't fit the mold, then you're not going to enjoy it. Um, so our events are really fun like that. I really enjoy our gatherings, because it's just the time to come together, enjoy the trails, and however, however you want to do that, but then also really focusing on just being able to socialize with all the different members from across the country that come to our events. So I really, I, I greatly enjoyed the events far more than I thought I would when I went into creating them. Just because most of the, the organized events have been who were just kind of rigid and stiff. And, and again, you had to follow the schedule all day. Um, but really, you know, kudos to our members for coming to these events and just making them fun just because they're there and, you get to meet everybody, so I've been really enjoying that. Well, you know, the the organized ride thing, We the only time we really would go out on an organized ride, depending on where we were, and there were a few places where we were forced to, and this was the reason there was no good maps of the area if you didn't know the uh -huh. area. And some of this was in um, up in Pennsylvania in the Allegheny area. And, oh, sure. And it was uh, pretty dense, you know, a lot of woods with a lot of moss in there where it was really a true forest look. If you didn't know where you were going, you could be in there for days. Yeah. So, sure. yeah. we, you know, there you're forced to go where you, you're riding along with somebody that knows where they're at because there were no yeah. maps either. So, yeah. you know, we would have to go on a ride at that time. But, uh, you know, other than that, we always kind of like to sort it out on our own, go at our own pace. And whenever we decided we wanted, yeah. if we're two hours out of camp and say, well, let's get back and make it a four-hour ride, it's time for us to turn around. 
yeah, you know. It's true. Yeah, absolutely. I know how that goes. So, yeah, it is definitely different wherever you go. And the nice thing is, is, is pretty much every event we have, we usually have, you know, whether it's the camp host or whether it's somebody that's, you know, been going to that place regularly, you can find those people that can tell you where to go or show you where to go. So we've never run into the problem, you know, where people feel lost and, and left out. So that's been really nice, too. Again, it's the trail riders coming together, you know, and helping each other out. And, um, and what I love seeing at the beginning of our events is people that didn't know a soul. You know, they knew, they knew these people, these members, through Facebook, but they never met them face-to-face. And by the end of the event, I mean, I've got people that are best friends now, you know, and they, they arrange their life, their trail riding life around the people that they've met at these different gatherings across the country. So yeah. it's just cool to see that kind of lottery come through now, that. It's, it's just a lot of fun. Now, we're running out of time, but uh, Shannon, again, it's HTCAA. How do people get a hold of you? Well, they can find us on Facebook if they look up HTCAA or Horse Trails and Camping Across America. And they also can find our new website, www.htcaa.org and that's where we're offering our new membership now which is really just helping us um, continue to sustain HTCAA. We've got 50,000 active members from around the country so this is this has turned into a serious job for me to have to maintain <laughs> HTCAA and make it greater which is fun. Well, but, that, that- uh, got a lot of fun stuff coming yeah. for our members so. well that's great and i would just say go on to uh, facebook to htcaa you'll have a lot of fun join the group shannon thanks for joining us absolutely wayne thanks for having me all righty thank you for joining us on speaking of horses king barnes located in new holland pennsylvania if you want a great custom built barn you've got to contact kingbarns.com all kinds of customized barns top grade materials and wonderful custom design to meet your request. Please check out King Barnes today. Source Nutrition, one of the fine sponsors, Source Nutrition Micronutrients developed from the seaweed harvested off the coast of Maine, aids in digestion, helps with older horses, Keeps everything moving fine in your horse's digestive tract. Check out Source Nutrition. Well, that's our show. I'm your host, Wayne Williams. Speaking of horses, we'll be back next week with a brand new show. Or join us at speakingofhorses.com.